Proper store is supposed to start at the beginning. Ain't so simple with this one. Now here's a kid whose whole world got all twisted, leaving him stranded on a rock in the sky. He gets up, sets off for the bastion, where everyone agreed to go in case of trouble. Ground forms up under his feet as if pointing away. He don't stop to wonder why. Finds his lifelong friend just lying in the road. Well, it's a touching reunion. He sees what's left of the ripped up walls. Years of work undone in an instant in the calamity. Is that a survivor? No, ma'am. It's a gas fella, forced out from underground. The kid pops him good. The fella got a piece of him, though. An old repeater falls out of the sky. Ain't a gift from the gods, but it'll have to do. Kids worked up quite a thirst by now, so that fountain looks real inviting. Sometimes you just need a drink. A school of squirts tunnels up around them. Must have fled here for the mines. He sets foot inside one of Selandia's famous watering holes. Inside's old Rondi, the bartender. The calamity got him for his drinking dead. Then Kid finds his trusty shield. Security takes him for a petty thief. Special delivery, gas fellas. Windbags start turning up for last call. start coming out of the woodwork. A big old fella pops out in front of the kid. Them windbags are playing for keeps. Kid sees the weight of the bastion out the window. It's a bit of a drop. He gets a good look at things on his way down. He lands on top of a breaker's bow, and it ain't broke. Kid spies a good perch for some target practice. He knows he should draw the string all the way back. Good news is the emergency defenses still work. Bad news is they aim it for the kid.
picks up a few pointers from a dusty old tomb. Right back at ya. He finds the distillery, right next to the arsenal. Tough part of town. One sip of the spirits in that distillery, and the kid'll feel like a new man. The arsenal's where the kid can pick the best tools for the job. Some of them squirts birthing like crazy in a couple of corn bins. That one was Maud, the tutor. Once taught the kid good manners. He never used them though. And then he falls to his death. I'm just fooling. An old ferry barge sends the kid on his way. The bastion's real close now. And then. He falls to his death. I'm just fooling. Takes a chunk of alloy. Smell of barley and spoiled blueberries fills the air. Scumbags. Kid maybe shouldn't have done what he just did. Put some out of his misery. He finds the core to the wharf district. He steals the city's heart. Might as well. 
Kid has a feeling you better get a move on. The place is starting to fall. See that core kid took was the only thing making this particular rock stay afloat. Kid just keeps running. Somersaulting like crazy. Now the kid sees something stranger still, his mind races. Did anybody else survive? Sure enough, he finds another. He finds me. We talk for a spell. There's a bit of the Bastion's power in that crest, enough to point the way to the cores. All I tell him is to set that core of his on the monument there, then watch. And just like that, the bastion comes alive. Starts growing again, growing stronger. Kid's gotta put its power to good use. Now the bastion can send him even farther into the wild unknown. Kid ponders what to build. Makes time to sample spirits from my personal supply. don't know what's out there waiting for him. He's got to find the cores out there and bring them back. With enough of them, the Bastion can fix everything. <laughs> 